Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bowl. You already know the vibes. You know how we you know what we doing, man. We talking about the Philadelphia 76ers. The Clippers want both. And the two players that I'm talking about is James Harden and PJ Tucker. And I'm gonna just talk my talk real quick about this matter because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. L- let him go. Let him go. If we can get the right players, let them go. I like PJ Tucker. I honestly like James Harden. But since you don't want to be in Philadelphia, James Harden, hasta luego. And if the Clippers want PJ Tucker. As much as I like P.J. Tucker, because I, I think he has that dog in him. When it counts the most, he is actually guarding the best wing player on the other team, and he's actually containing them to the, for the most part. He's not Tobias Harris giving up 55 points. He ain't Tobias Harris. And he actually plays with a lot of heart. When he yelled at Joel Embiid to get your act together, he plays with heart and passion. He plays with... The winning mentality. He plays like that Philly mentality. He plays like he should play. And I like P.J. Tucker, but if he has to go, he has to go for the right for the right players. For the right players, he has to go. If he has to. If they want him that bad to complete this trade. And I don't want nobody from the Clippers besides Leonard and and, and, and Paul George. I know it's not really realistic. They probably want to keep all of them. They want to keep all of them. And because I, I believe they're, they have a player option next season. I'm talking about P, um, Paul George and Leonard. They have a player option next offseason. So they're pretty much going all in. Let's get James Harden and then go from there and see what happens. I understand what they're, what they're trying to do. But I'm not making no deal unless I get... One of those two players. And I don't care about any. Nothing moves the needle for me. Unless you're giving us like five first, like three first round picks or two first round picks plus some players. Nothing is moving the needle for me personally. Because like I said, this is a very important move. This is going to determine if Joel Embiid asks for a trade this next offseason or possibly earlier than that. I hope I hope that doesn't happen. But this move, you cannot play with. You cannot just get anything. And that's what I like about Daryl. I don't think he's going to make that mistake. But I'm going for Paul George or Leonard. One of them got to come back to Philly. And I know they're both injury prone. I know they're always injured. But if I'm going to do that trade, I need one of those players back. Or if there's a three-team trade with the Bulls and somehow we get Zach Levine in the trade. Or if it's a three-team trade with the... uh, With the... uh, the Blazers, and we somehow get Dame time, okay, or a four-team trade, whatever. As long as we get a player that is going to either keep us steady where we're at now or push us above. Because I do not want to take any steps backwards because I know the risk of it. The risk is losing Joel Embiid. And I'm about to make another video about that because this is this is this is crazy right now. But yeah. PJ Tucker is about to get paid 11 million this season. Yes, James Harden took a pay cut to get PJ Tucker. Yes. Daryl probably promised him a max extension, but he only promised you that. If you balled out when it counted the most. And you didn't ball out. I'm not going to get into the stats in the postseason. I'm not going to repeat myself. Because I said it in multiple videos. But you didn't ball out when it counted the most. So that's why you're not getting the max extension. Right? You're not. But going back to PJ. He's getting paid $11 million this upcoming season. And then he has a player option for another $11.54 million. If he opts in that deal. The Clippers want him, y'all. The Clippers actually want P.J. Tucker. Yes, he can definitely score, um, not score a lot, but he can definitely guard multiple positions, and I like the way he plays. But I I just don't, 
I just don't know. I don't want anything from the Clippers. Like, I don't want anything. Really. We already know how first round picks plan out, so I'm not excited about first round picks. Only reason why I'm excited if we get a couple of first round picks plus players for James Harden and PJ Tucker is if, and I'm talking about a big freaking if. Hold on, man. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like hold on. Vibes. Thank you for vibing with. Thank you for vibing with the bull. You know I had to put the Goku shirt on. You know I had Goku right here. But that's besides the points. If you know who they are, you know who they are. But um, real talk, though. We need to be smart with these moves. I'm not saying trade them for anything. But this is the most important moves yet for the 76ers. We haven't won since 1983. The last time we've been to the finals was 2001 with Allen Iverson. I'm born, I'm a 90s baby, so I just missed the championship run. I missed it. You know what I'm saying? By almost 10 years. I missed it by almost 10 years. So I didn't even get to witness it. So we, we need to do something. If P.J. Tucker and James Harden has to go, which I honestly want James Harden to go more and more because it just seems like he's not a team player. He doesn't have that mental toughness he wants to leave every team that he if he don't get his way he wants to leave he quits on every team as long as he gets his money he's cool he doesn't i don't think he really wants to win a championship as much as he says because actions speak louder than words i ain't gonna talk you out of death let me know in the comments below and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and as always let me know man the clippers want both let me know in the comments below what is your mindset about this man what is a realistic trade that you will be satisfied f with? Because I'm going to be honest with you, unless there's a third or fourth team involved in this whole package deal, I'm not, I'm not going for any of it. I'm, I'm just not. But this offseason is crazy, man. But as always, man. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you vibing with me. If you're a Philadelphia 76 er fan, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out.